do you think these PTZ cameras can rotate and move all by itself? Is there any sensor built into it or is it some command we input for them to do that? Hi, my name is Sibin, an expert in security and surveillance system and also the founder and proprietor of Trinity Computer Solution. In one of our meetings with a managing director of a company, a couple of weeks back, they had asked a question, how do these cameras work and is it auto-programmed or are there any sensors in them to control them? Today, I'm going to share with you on how these fancy PTZ cameras work. PTZ cameras have mainly five different functions which control their movement. One is a preset, second is a patrol, third is a pattern, fourth is auto tracking and fifth is manual. Now preset is a single command like it can be a command used to either zoom or turn left or turn right or tilt down or up or sideways or maybe move one frame or zoom by like four times etc. So it's basically one single command and whenever we call that function the camera does just that one step. Now when we look at petrol which is the second type it's a series of steps put together like one command of petrol can include commands to turn left focus on an object zoom by four times to rotate to turn up down or any set of steps together now this is something which is used in situations like when the camera is turned to another position and you suddenly want the focus towards the gate entry point you call this petrol command and the camera immediately turns to the gate it makes life more easier so you can have a set of petrol commands to call to make the camera turn to each spot in your campus or zoom in or out of any particular scene the third type of movement is called pattern wherein we record a set of movements for say like 10 minutes or 15 minutes and then the camera keeps on repeating these movements again and again until a different command is called you can use this in places where you do not have a security guard or say in the night when there is no one monitoring the place the camera will keep doing surveillance over the entire campus all on its own now for this to work we definitely don't need to have human human intervention the next type of movement is based on auto tracking. Say you have a restricted area or a zone and suddenly you see human trespassing or vehicle movement through the route. The camera can track the person or vehicle wherever he or she goes until they are out of that zone which we have defined. Now you can also have this as a combination along with pattern and auto, auto tracking which means while the camera is doing its regular rounds of patterning it suddenly senses movement or human activity and it can lock on the object and keep tracking it. The last type of movement is manual method which obviously is completely based on how we want the camera to move and where we want it to monitor. These movements are controlled using a mouse or a joystick and completely requires a human activity. This is used say for example in traffic signals where the surveillance center will be monitoring all the signals for any offenses um, like helmetless riders, signal jumping motorists etc. I'm sure you all would have seen one of them. I'm sure now you got a fair idea on how these cameras work and rotate. Please put out any questions which you have that needs to be clarified in the comments below. Keep following our page and subscribe to our channel for more videos. This is Sibin signing off. See you in my next video. Thank you.